What's going on guys? So this week, um, got some new stuff in store. Got some different, what's on my face here? Uh, got some new stuff in store. Uh, got Richmond Stared, who is a buddy of mine. I work with him at FedEx and he has been eager to try some strongman stuff. So I brought him over uh, Saturday morning. So we'll have that to show you guys. Never has done stones, never did log. None of that kind of stuff so it's brand new to him which is you know it's, it's perfect that i have these people that really want to try that i've never done it before because i mean i'm still brand new to it and you know the whole channel is based on becoming strongman you know people that never done it and i didn't really think that i'd have as many people asking me about it or agreeing to come try it with me that wasn't really the goal right off the bat you know i wanted to spark interest and stuff like that but i didn't think it would happen so fast but the main reason why i named the channel becoming strongman was because of myself being brand new to it so it's cool to learn from each other and kind of show people what i'm learning you know i'm not an expert by any stretch of the imagination at all i'm just reiterating what i've seen through videos and my own little trial and error and what my coaches kind of taught me about little techniques and tweaks and stuff like that so I'm just passing that down to friends of mine and you know they can take with it and do with it what they will and it's been really fun so so this is where I work guys supplement warehouse now if you ever come here you'll notice that our sign outside and behind the register still says complete nutrition well high-tech pharmaceutical slash supplement warehouse bought out all of complete nutrition stores all their corporate stores so we're still in transition it's been a little while but i know eventually they'll be changing the outside signs so as of right now if you want to come see me here look for complete nutrition so i guess i'll just take a little bit of time to show you just real quick around i'm just going to show you what i take personally for what i do and what i've done in the past Send me a message if you want to come in when I'm here. And I'll gladly show you around and you'll get a lot better deal here too. But anyway, so precision is what I will take on a day to day most of the time. If it's not that, it's isomorph. Both high quality proteins. Mixes up real easy. I like the precision though because it's a little bit sm a little bit smoother and it's a thinner shake. I'll use Humapro during workouts. That's an amino acid blend there. So it has all the essential amino acids. I'll use that during workouts and I'll combine that with creatine or, uh, well, usually I'm doing carbohydrates, which is the cyclodextrin here. But if I'm trying to cut a little weight, then I might not do the carbs. Mesomorph be good pre-workout that I would take pretty frequently or bucked up. Complete multivitamin there. Every once in a while I mix it up and throw that one in there instead. Since I lift heavy weights, my joints hurt a lot. So I like this stuff. Throw that in a lot. How are you gonna do it? Very carefully. Very, very
So what are we doing, babe? We are cutting paper to make a big atlas stone. We are using a 17 inch, correct? Technically 17.7 something, but yeah, I'm gonna inflate this thing to hopefully be 18 inches even. Well, it's gonna be roughly, but roughly. I just don't want it less than 17 inches. So that'll make a 240 to 250 pound stone. <clears throat> and I have all these papers from my couponing venture. So, and my paper cutter, courtesy of my amazing boyfriend from my couponing that we are using to cut the strips to paper mache it. Yep. So, wish us luck, cause it's our first time doing it this way. Yeah, and my coach Travis said that this is how they used to do it. I mean, back in the 80s and early 90s before you could just go online and buy a stone mold. You know, I'm sure the competitions had their ways of having people make stones that were essentially perfect, but just for your everyday Joe that wanted to make a stone, you couldn't just be like, oh, I'm just gonna go online and buy stones, because hey, there wasn't any internet back then. <laughs> so you had to go to a gym that had the molds, or you had to try to get somebody's phone number that had them and borrow theirs or something like that. So he said back in the day, that's what they used to do. So just taking a basic Swiss ball, just got one that was gonna inflate to about 17 to 18 inches. So, so we're going covered. back to arts class. Yeah, we're covering it in paper mache. I got the uh, Elmer's glue, but that's kind of a home improvement Elmer's glue. So it's a little bit stronger from what it said. We're gonna use that and I'm gonna cover it in like at least four layers. So it's really strong. So after I get this filled up and there and... There will be videos to come of how we, the process is coming along with it. And just watch your head when you go up and don't hit it on the second shelf. Not that one, the one where... You're taller than me by a little bit. I don't think I'll do it. No, I think it's good.
there you go. I'll get nice and tight. Thrust it up, chest it up. Yeah, there you go. I definitely laid forward. You ready now? I'm ready now. You've seen me lift this a million times. So well, I know, but you tell me. Make sure you record when we're out here, because you never know what funny stuff might yeah. happen. So, I am just doing my job as videographer. And no, you cannot get famous being a stripper with your booty shape. Oh, yes, I can. Oh, hell no, you I'll make cannot. Money. We'll get this gym all equipped in like two weeks. <laughs> Excuse me? Just film. Excuse me? <laughs> when does it go? Competitor ready? Go! That's definitely the 220. Oh. 